fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high of silver, the Lone Ranger. unrest that followed the Civil War, a powerful secret organization called the Legion of the Black Arrow sprang up in the western United States. Its members were to be found everywhere, defying the law or using the law for their own purposes, working toward the ultimate goal of revolt and the foundation of a despotic empire. It was the masked rider of the plains who led the fight against this band of outlaws and traitors, and for once his great strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness were taxed to the utmost in the cause of democracy. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Run the tail of the black girl. Hail, Silver! Away! The Lone Ranger and Toto raced along the high banks of the river. A rope stretched across the trail at a point where the river curved sharply, sent them hurtling into the turbulent waters. Horses and men plunged beneath the surface of the deep pool. The masked man struggled to the surface first and felt the strength of the current pulling him out toward the rapids in certain death. Silver's head was above the flood in another second. The Lone Ranger grasped the stirrup and the great horse struck out for the bank. Let's count, Silver. Where's Toto? May have hit his head on the rock when he went under. I'm going to dive for him. Go on, boy. Head for the bank. The masked man dove and swimming blindly allowed the current to set his direction. Then suddenly his body fell a terrific wrench. A whirlpool had gripped him and he was drawn still deeper toward the bottom of the pool. Instead of fighting against it, he swam with the pool deeper and deeper. At last he felt the pressure of the giant eddy relax. But now his lungs were bursting. A great shadow loomed before him. His right hand warded off the rock, and his left was buckskin. Slippery, hard to hold, the buckskin jacket of his friend. A frenzy effort, a stronger hold, and the Lone Ranger fought toward the surface. At last, the air rushed into his aching lungs. Silver! The great horse had not returned to the shore with Scout. He still swam at the edge of the whirlpool. Once more, the masked man grasped the stirrup, and Silver struck out for safety. The steep bank was reached. Tonto's unconscious body was lifted out of danger, and the desperate work of reviving him began. Ten, twenty, thirty minutes, an hour. Then came the first sign of returning life. The faithful Indian stirred. His eyes slowly opened. Kimo Sabe, you'll be all right now. What happened? Someone must have tied a rope across the trail. It was too dark to see, and both Silver and Scout tripped. Fall, fall over bank? Yes. But just where the bank cuts away, you must have hit your head on the rock when you went under. Oh, maybe Tolo Trent set trap. Huh? It must have been. You see him? No, Kimosabe. It's impossible to see the top of the bank from here. There's an overhang. Oh. And lucky for us, it's given us protection from above. 
They were anywhere around. Torlock and Trench must have thought we drowned. Kimasabi, you saved Tonto's life. It was Silver that saved both of us. Mm. What we what we do now? You'll have to rest for a few more hours. And we may be able to ride on. Oh, Crook, get away if you wait for Tonto. We know which way they're heading. We may be able to pick up their trail again. Torlock, plenty smart. Him keep undercover a long time. Don't worry, Kimosabe. Sooner or later, we'll meet again. Uh, next time we catch him. Well, let's hope so. It was three days later that the Lone Ranger and Toto made camp outside of Richmond City. The Indian helped the masked man with a disguise, and then... After leaving their horses on the edge of town, they walked up the main street. That cafe just ahead seems to be the busiest spot in town. I'll ask there if either Torlock or Trench has ridden through. Ah. We've made good time yesterday and today. There's a chance they may still be here. That's right. Uh, you'd better wait outside. I won't be long. You look. What is it? A fellow right up the street, plenty fast. Isn't that a badge on his chest? Ah. Tough to see it in light from store. And it must be young Bob Crawford. He's a sheriff of Richmond County, and he owns a Bar C ranch. Howdy, stranger. You don't happen to know Bart Rivers, do you? No, I don't. I just wondered if he was inside. I'll soon find out. Wait here, Tonto. <laughs> yeah, there's the polecat. Howdy, sheriff. What's all the hurry, Bob? Take off your guns, Bart. Huh? Hurry up. Get that belt on the bar. Uh, what's the idea? You arresting me for something? I can't arrest you. I haven't got any proof, but there's another way of stopping you and your ornery crew from killing my cows and running off the calves. You're loco. We found a half a dozen more of them dead this afternoon. You haven't got any proof. I already that. said that. It ain't the sheriff that's talking to you, Bart. It's me, Bob Crawford, the owner of the Bar C. My badge comes off, and so do my guns. Now we're going to settle this with our fists. Lige well, don't like any fighting in here. Then we move outside. And if you try to crawl out of it, I'll brand you as a yellow maverick from one end of the state to the other. Crawl out of it? That's what I said. Why, you undersized little runt, I'll break you in two. Come on, outside. <laughs> Bob and Bart led the way out of the cafe. The other men soon formed a hollow square in the street. Torches were lit, and the two ranchers squared off. Bart was much the heavier, and he put all his weight behind his first lunge... But Bob stepped aside, and the bear-like Bart sprawled on the ground. Bob laughed at him as he sprang to his feet, and then the fight began in earnest. The Lone Ranger and Tonto stood on the edge of the crowd. There's no way for a sheriff to act, Tonto, but you've got to admire his courage. Ah, uh, Bob, plenty quick. It's like fight between bear and panther. I've managed to find out a little of what it's about. You say Bart's men kill cow, drive off calf? That's what Bob accused him of. There are other ranchers who'd like to make the same accusation. Most of them are afraid of Bart, though. You think maybe this fight do some good, huh? Bob wins, it will. You'll find the other ranchers a lot more ready to help him. Ah. If he weren't so young, it would be hard to excuse him for forgetting his duty. Why are you not stop fight? What do you think, Tonto? <laughs> you hope Bob win? Yes. From what I've heard, it would be the best thing that could happen for Richmond County. Bob knew that he had no chance if one of Bart's blows should land squarely. He fought coolly watching for his openings, and then driving rights and lefts home with lightning speed. Bart was tiring, and the crowd realized that the tide of battle had changed in favor of the sheriff. Then suddenly, in avoiding one of Bart's vicious swings, the younger man slipped and fell. Bart roared! In a second, the crowd knew he meant to jump on his fallen opponent. But before he could take a single step, a grip of steel on his shoulder whirled him around. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Get out of here! Just as soon as Bob's on his feet and not before. I'll show you! Not that way! No! Come on, Toto. Stranger, wait a minute. Your boy, it's out cool. Stop him, somebody. Stop that on Where's Gordon, Sam? But it was a lucky thing for you. He stepped in when he did. I know it. Just look at those spurs of ours. He didn't kill you. It sure spoiled your looks. We'll have to get him inside. I'll attend to that, Sheriff. Take him into Lodge's office, boys. Who are you? They call me Karen. I'm the new singer. May I, um... May I offer my congratulations, Sheriff? I don't deserve any congratulations. You're alive. And while there's life, there's hope. <laughs> what did she mean by that? Search me. But I sure didn't like the sound of that laugh. What 
you think about, Kimasabi? Torlock. Oh. You not find out him come to Richmond City, huh? No, I didn't. Why you not stay in town? Well, they've asked me a lot of questions, and I wasn't ready to answer them. Oh. We may be staying here for quite a while. I recognize someone in that crowd outside of the cafe. Who that? A girl, Tonto. Oh. I don't know her name, but she was working for the Black Arrow in Bennett City. She must be here for a reason. We've got to find out what it is. Don't try to sit up. Uh, I'm all right. Just hand me that bottle. I'll pour you a drink. Uh, you're Karen, aren't you? That's as good a name as any. Here. You'll feel better in a minute. Who was that hit me? Stranger. Nobody seemed to know who he was. He left before anyone could find out. If he ever comes back, I'll break his head in. Aren't you asking for more trouble than you can handle? I'll show him. Well, somehow I don't think you'll be back. Anyway, Bob's the one you should be sore at. He was the one who started it. Yeah, the mangy coyote. I'll get even. Not by killing any more cows. What's that? You'll land in jail, Bart. Use your brains. Huh? <laughs> Well, perhaps that's asking too much. I don't let anybody talk to me that way. I don't like it, see? Would you like it if I told you how to get even? With, with Bob? Yes, with Sheriff Crawford. What do you got up your sleeve? <laughs> Why, nothing. There aren't any sleeves in this dress. Come on, let's have it. Listen, Bob runs his stock in Buffalo Basin. He doesn't own the land. He only leases the grazing right from Silas Mason. Well? That lease is coming up for renewal in a few days. Uh, what about it? Si and Bob are friends. There won't be any trouble about it. Just suppose there were. There's no other land around here he could use. He'd either have to sell his stock at a dead loss or he'd have to drive it farther west where there's open range. Which would it be? He'd go west. That would mean that Richmond County would have to elect a new sheriff. It uh, might be you, Bart. I might get it with him out of the way. I can guarantee it if you follow my orders. How can a girl pull off a deal like that? You'll have to trust me. The card's on the table or it's no go? I'll show you some of them, Bart. Just a few. But there'll be enough to win the hand. It was close to dawn the following morning that Silver whinnied. And the Lone Ranger rolled out of his blankets, instantly alert. He could hear a crashing in the underbrush near the camp. All right, Silver. Tonto. Ah, uh, Tonto here. Now it stopped. It sounded like somebody fall. Yes, not far away. Come on. Up beside Big Pine. There's a ravine there. Uh, maybe some animal, maybe bear. So close to our camp. Listen, that's a man from the ravine. Uh, it's still plenty dark. He may have fallen down it. I'm not deep. There he is, a dark shadow at the bottom. Help, help me. What's the matter? My leg, I can't stand up. How about it, Tonto? I uh, mean, it'll take oh. a long oh, oh, it's bad. Him break leg. I gotta get back to town. I gotta, if I don't, they'll kill it. Who are they? Who are they going to kill? Well, I can't see anything. I don't know anyway. I've got to get back to town. I... That's a mask on your face. You're one of them. I'm not an outlaw. You followed me. Our camp is in a clearing beyond the ravine. You woke us up when you fell down here. I'm going to do it. I promised, didn't I? Just tell me back to town. I'll go through with it and I won't tell anybody. Oh. Steady there. Don't try to move. Oh. King Osabi, time to see this man in town. So did I. We'll carry him over to the camp and see what we can do for his leg. Here, don't try oh. to. I've got him. Oh, don't, please. For the love of heaven, don't kill her. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. The Lone Ranger carried the man with the broken leg to the camp beyond the ravine. And there Tonto set the break and bandaged it in a splint. When he had finished, the gray light of morning was filtering through the trees. Now, Tonto cook bacon, make coffee. It's a good idea, Kimosabe. <laughs> You'll share like with them now. We still don't know whom you're talking about. The gang that took me prisoner. The gang that took you prisoner? Uh, Silver wants sugar. (laughs) Call that old Silver. (laughs) Yes. Give him some, Tonto. A masked man and an engine called Toto. Who is called Silver? There's something about your voice. You know outlaw. That right. Him, Lone Ranger. Lone Ranger? Mister, if there's anybody who can help with you... We'll do our best, but you'll have to tell us all about it. Oh, you were taken prisoner and you escaped. Is that it? No, they let me go after I promised. I guess the only way to help is to get me back to town somehow. Suppose you start at the beginning. Well, it was just about midnight. Somebody knocked at the door. When I opened it, I could see a man with a bandana across his face. I started to yell, and somebody hit me. That's all I remember till I come to out in the forest. I was lying close to a campfire. Just outside the circle of light, I could see faces. Not clear, but I knew they were there. Then one of the crooks spoke up. Well, Silas, I see you're ready to join the party. What's the meaning of this? Who are you? Don't move, you're covered. You crooks. (laughs) We brought you out here to discuss a business proposition. That's a likely story. Well, it happens to be the truth. You own the deed to Buffalo Basin. What about it? And you'll lease the grazing rights to Bob Crawford. Yeah. Well, for reasons of our own, we don't want you to renew that lease. Well, you just try and stop here. Yeah, we intend to. You're going to lease the rights to Bard Rivers, Mason. I get it. He hired you to do this. He wants to put Bob out of business. Rivers has no idea what we're doing. As far as we know, he's an honest, law-abiding citizen. And when you go to him and offer to sell him the rights, we don't want you to mention this little visit at all. How do you know he wants to buy him? He will. You realize, just as you did, that it would mean the end of Bob Crawford's ranching business. If Rivers didn't pay, eh, what are you doing this for? You got some reason? Yeah, a good one, Mason. We want a new sheriff in Richmond County. I thought you... Crooks! Bob's a good sheriff. You want to get rid of him? Exactly. Well, you won't get any help from me. You'll go to Rivers tomorrow morning and offer to sell him the grazing rights to Buffalo Basin. How are you going to make me? We know of a way. It won't do any good to kill me. No, Mason... I won't do it. Haven't you forgotten your wife? Hey, the wife? Yeah, she's been visiting St. Louis. She's on her way home now, traveling by stage. It's a long trip and a dangerous trail. You'd hold up the stage? And take her prisoner, Silas. You might never see her again. Of all the dirty it's rotten strictly road. business as far as we're concerned. If you don't follow our orders tomorrow morning, we go into action. I have until noon. Until noon? Yeah. If you don't have anything to do with Bart, how are you going to know that I'm going through with it? We'll know. But don't worry about that. I want your promise, Mason. And if you don't keep it, we'll keep ours. Well? Hey, I promise. Then get out of here. You'll find the trail half a mile to the south. Follow it and you'll reach town by morning. Through that shit. I've got to see Bart by noon, or they'll kidnap my wife. They may be kill her. I've got to get into town. Get my saddle on Silver, Tonto. Ah. Where are you going? To Bob Crawford's ranch. What for? We'll need Bob and his men. Some of them to carry you out to the ranch. Some to ride with me and Tonto. Where? We're going to meet the stage. No, you can't. If you try anything like that, it would... Don't you see what it would mean? Nothing could stop them then. I hate to do this to Bob. Mariah's life is more important than his business. You can go, Wes. We'll be safe at the ranch. I'm going into town. They gave you until 12 o'clock, sailor. Yes, but I... We'll have a start on them. All the start we need. They'll go through with it, I know. If they do, I'll be in for a surprise. Yeah, you're silver. Steady, boy. <laughs> Mace, man. And your wife won't be in danger. Come on, Silver. <laughs> Two hours later, the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Bob Crawford, with half a dozen of his call hands, were racing along the trail to the east. You're sure they aren't ahead of us, masked man? There's no sign on the trail. That's right. I haven't been able to figure it out. Where are we going to meet up with the stage? Mason told us when his wife is leaving St. Joe's. From that, we can guess the stage will be leaving Gainesville early this evening. 
We ought to meet it just outside. That's covered a lot of ground. You and your men can do it. We want to keep ahead, Bob. Right. Come on, Silver. Come on, Silver. Come on, Silver. Come on, Silver. Karen. Well, is the deal closed? No, he didn't show up on us after 12 o'clock. It's too bad. We'll have to go through with it then. Go through with what? You ride out to the big pine at the opening of the gulch. There'll be some men waiting there. You'll get your orders from them. What am I letting myself in for? One of the risks you promised to take. Don't forget the reward, Bart. Kino. At sunset... The Lone Ranger and the posse were only a few miles outside of Gainesville. Ahead of them, they could see a cloud of dust, the stage that carried Mrs. Mason. There she is. You know the driver, don't you, Bob? I'm not sure which one it is, but I know them all. That's fine. Suppose you take charge. All right. I guess I can remember everything. What's the guard shooting for? The trail's narrow. Let's get over to the side. Rain up! Rain up in the name of the law! It's Harry Chalmers. He recognizes you. What's up, Sheriff? Is Mrs. Mason inside the coach? Yeah. You come all the way from Richmond to give her an escort home? We want to talk with her. Steady, Silver. <clears throat> I'll open the door. Oh, a masked man. It's all right, Mariah. This is a lone ranger. Land oh, sakes, you don't tell me. I'm pleased to meet you. Uh, Mrs. Mason, do you think you could ride the rest of the way to Richmond on horseback? Whatever for? We brought Chestnut Bell, side saddle and everything. Well, of course I can do it. I'm not told that I can't ride, but why? The stage is going to be held up. There's going to be a fight, and we don't want you to get hurt. Oh, well, it seems to me I was getting mighty tired of this coach anyhow. Just give me a hand down, masked man, and I'll take your suggestion. Right. Yeah, yeah, man. Good old Chestnut Bell. Now you ride with Tonto. Howdy, Tonto. Up you go. Never. There. Don't you let anybody steal those new dresses I bought. We won't. You know the trails to take, Kimosabe. Uh -huh. You'll get to Richmond before we do. Take Mrs. Mason out to the Crawford Ranch and then go back to the camp. I'll meet you there. You watch out. Plenty of danger. It's worth it if Torlock's with the gang. Uh, we ride now. Get him up, Scout. Get up there, Bill. All right, Bob. Slim, you'll take charge of the horses. Keep about a half a mile back of the stage. When you hear shooting, close in. We might need them if they try to get away. Uh, yeah. Now the rest of you get inside the coach and hurry it out. <laughs> What about you, mass man? I'll follow the trail up on the ridge. When I see the first sign of the gang, I'll come back to warn you. Good enough. <laughs> All right, Harry, let him ramble. Get up, there, Blackie. Let's go. Come on, Silver. Hey, boys, here comes the mass man. How about it, mass man? You'll see them just around the next turn. I'm heading back up the ridge again so they won't see me. How many are there? Seven or eight. The odds are even. I'll circle beyond them and cut off their back trail. They'll start shooting when you round the turn. Slim will start bringing up your horses. They won't get away, will they, boys? They're going into the turn. Up the ridge, Silver. I can see them now. They're out in the middle of the road, shooting in the air. Can you still handle the reins if you slide into the box? I guess so. I'll do it. And don't rein up until we start shooting from the coach. Chino! Now remember, boys, not until I say the word. Then let them have Rain it. Rein up, you fool! Where's the driver? I can't see him. He's stuck down. He can get past us. Open fire! Now! Hey. The unexpected attack from the stage took the outlaws by surprise. At first, they tried to return the fire of the posse. But after they had seen Bob and realized they were dealing with the law... They spurred their horses in a desperate effort to escape. The lone ranger had taken his position at the top of a rise. He opened fire, and once more they were forced to rein up. By that time, Slim had reached the stage with his cavy of horses. <coughs> Pile up, boys. Climb aboard and get after him. And make it pronto. The masked man can't hold him back by himself for long. <laughs> As the posse closed in, the outlaws knew their last chance for escape was gone. At first, they tried to fight it out. But when the Lone Ranger shot the gun from the hand of the leader, oh, the battle was as good as over. The other members of the gang threw down their guns and reached for the sky. We got them all, didn't we, masked man? Yes. Take those bandanas off and let's see who they are. You heard them, boy. You seem to be giving orders. I want to look at your face. Satisfied? Yes, Trench. I hoped it might be Torlock. 
At least we have another member of the Black Arrow where he can't make any more trouble. Tolak, you do the business. You'll find out about it pronto. Mass man, look here. It's Bart River. I didn't want to do this. They made me. Oh, shut up. You'd have collected if you'd won. You're under arrest, Bart. You'll hold this man until a United States Marshal picks him up, Sheriff. A United States Marshal? Yes, I can't explain. There's a girl in town. I think you'll find her at the cafe. Not anymore, it won't. She's gone? Yeah. With Torlock. <laughs> I see. You won't need my help to get these men back to Richmond, Sheriff. No, but... And I'm riding on ahead. Our friend here has told me there's going to be trouble. Plenty, mister. Plenty. Come on, Silver. Adios, Silver! Fire! The Lone Ranger raced ahead of the posse in the stage in the direction of Hunter Richmond. When he reached the woods to the east of town where he and Tonto had made their camp, he turned from the trail and galloped on through the trees. The underbrush clutched at his feet, and the low-hanging branches tried to sweep him from the saddle. But not once did Silver feel a restraining hand on the reins. On they raced, and finally, the clearing. Toto, where are you? Someone's been here, Silver. That isn't an old fire. The ashes have been scattered. Toto! We couldn't have beaten him. It was all that time, and we were keeping pace with the stage. He must have... On the ground, Silver, a gun. That's Toto's. Empty. Every cartridge fired. And there are no signs. Signs of a struggle all here. Silver, Tonto's been captured by the Black Arrow. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>